Hey everyone, how's it going? Before we get started, we wanted to remind you that all proceeds from our channel go to charity. Please help give by visiting our sponsors, subscribing to our channel, commenting, or just giving us a thumbs up. We really appreciate your support. Our goal is to lead meaningful and healthy lives. One thing that we've learned during our extended time at home during the pandemic is that it isn't easy to keep track of your own health stats, let alone those of a loved one who you can't visit or who might not be able to leave their home. Recently, we invested in home blood pressure monitors for our loved ones and actually for ourselves to give us peace of mind, at least about one part of our family's health. Today, we're gonna to review the SinoHeart home blood pressure monitor and why it's important to monitor your blood pressure. So let's get to it. Checking your blood pressure at home is an important part of managing high blood pressure or what healthcare professionals call hypertension. The American Heart Association and other organizations recommend that anyone with high blood pressure monitor his or her blood pressure at home. Home monitoring can help you keep tabs on your blood pressure in a familiar setting, making certain your medication is working and alert you or your doctor to potential health complications. Why? It can help with early diagnosis. Self-monitoring can help your doctor diagnose high blood pressure earlier than if you have only occasional blood pressure readings in a medical office. Home monitoring is especially important if you have elevated blood pressure or another condition that could contribute to high blood pressure, such as diabetes or kidney problems. It will help you track treatment. The only way to know whether lifestyle changes or medications are working is to check your blood pressure regularly. Monitoring blood pressure changes at home can help you and your doctor make decisions about your treatment such as adjusting dosages or changing medications. Next, monitoring can encourage better control. Self-monitoring can give you a stronger sense of responsibility for your health. You may feel even more motivated to control your blood pressure with an improved diet, physical activity, and proper medication use. Another important reason is it can cut your healthcare costs. Self-monitoring might decrease your number of visits to your doctor or clinic. Lastly, it will check if your blood pressure differs outside the doctor's office. Some people experience spikes in blood pressure due to anxiety associated with seeing a doctor, and that's what we call white coat syndrome. Less often, people may have normal blood pressure at a clinic, but elevated pressure elsewhere. Monitoring blood pressure at home can help determine if you have true high blood pressure. It's important to point out that with some conditions, high blood pressure monitors might not always be accurate. An example of this is an irregular heartbeat that may make it difficult for you to monitor your own blood pressure. We always suggest before using any home device, including a home blood pressure monitor, that you consult with your medical provider and make sure it's going to be safe and accurate. Now, what types of monitor will you use at home? Most of us will be using an automatic or electronic device. These are going to have two general components. First, there's going to be the inflatable cuff. The cuff's inner layer fills with air and squeezes your arm. The cuff's outer layer has a fastener to hold the cuff in place. Heart rate and blood flow are automatically calculated by measuring the changes in the motion of your artery as the blood flows through while the cuff deflates. Most of the time these are meant to be used on the upper arm and that location is generally the most accurate. But if you can't find a cuff big enough for your upper arm or if you find blood pressure measurements painful, ask your doctor about alternatives. Okay. Now the cuff is connected to a gauge for readouts. Some blood pressure monitors can take multiple readings and report the averages. Features to consider when choosing a blood pressure monitor are many. First, cuff size. Having a properly fitting cuff is the most important factor to consider because poorly fitting cuffs will not give accurate blood pressure measurements. Ask your doctor or nurse what cuff size you need. 
Display. The display shows your blood pressure measurement and should be clear and easy to read. Cost. Prices vary. Ask your health insurance provider if your policy covers the cost of a home blood pressure monitor. Next is device accuracy. When you buy it and once a year, check the accuracy of your monitor by bringing it to your doctor's office and comparing your monitor's readings with those taken by the doctor. Here are some other tips for accurate use. No matter what type of home blood pressure monitor you choose, proper use requires training and practice. Take the device to your doctor or nurse to make sure the one you've chosen is the best fit for you and learn how to use the monitor correctly. Also have your doctor or nurse watch you use the device to see if you're doing it properly. If you drop the device or damage it, have it checked again before you use it. Measure blood pressure twice daily. The first measurement should be in the morning, before eating or taking any medications, and the second in the evening. Each time you measure, take two or three readings to make sure your results are accurate. Your doctor might recommend taking your blood pressure at the same time each day. Now don't measure your blood pressure right after you wake up. You can prepare for the day, but don't eat breakfast or take medications before measuring your blood pressure. If you exercise after waking, take your blood pressure before exercising. Avoid food, caffeine, tobacco, and alcohol for 30 minutes before taking a measurement. Also, go to the toilet first. A full bladder can increase blood pressure slightly. Sit quietly before and during monitoring. When you're ready to take your blood pressure, sit for five minutes in a comfortable position with your legs and ankles uncrossed and your back supported against a chair. Try to be calm and not think about stressful things. Don't talk while taking your blood pressure. Make sure your arm is positioned properly. Always use the same arm when taking your blood pressure. Rest your arm raised to the level of your heart on a table, desk, or chair arm. You might need to place a pillow or cushion under your arm to elevate it high enough. Place the cuff on bare skin, not over clothing. Rolling up a sleeve until it tightens around your arm can result in an inaccurate reading, so you may need to slip your arm out of the sleeve. Take a repeat reading. Wait for one to three minutes after the first reading and then take another to check accuracy. If your monitor doesn't automatically log blood pressure readings or heart rates, write them down. Blood pressure varies throughout the day and readings are often a little higher in the morning. Also, your blood pressure might be slightly lower at home than in a medical office, typically by about five points. Contact your doctor if you have any unusual or persistent increases in your blood pressure. Ask your doctor what reading should prompt an immediate call to the medical office. So why do we like this SinoHeart monitor that we bought on Amazon? First, let's look at the cuff. We really like the way this is applied. It can be hard to get a cuff on by yourself. You may feel like a contortionist using one arm and maybe your chin to get it fastened on your upper arm. The bracket on this cuff allows you to slip your arm through the cuff, pull it up to your upper arm, and pull it snug around your arm all with one hand. Next, the gauge has several features that we love. First, it stores your blood pressure readings on the device for not one, but two users. It's easy to change which user you are using by pushing the settings button before taking your pressure. It talks to you as it begins your pressure, reminding you to sit still and relax. But if you don't like that feature, you can shut it off. Next, it's an easy to read display. The numbers are large for aging eyes like ours. Stay still and do not talk until the measurement is complete. Your systolic pressure was 119 millimeters of mercury. Diastolic pressure was 80 millimeters of mercury. Pulse was 
64 beats per minute. And of course, the cost. We paid less than $50 for this unit. Now we all know that prices change and we can't guarantee what you may pay for this unit, but we'll drop a link in the notes below. We do get a small commission from Amazon sales, but it won't cost you anything extra. And remember that proceeds are given to charity. So that's it. Remember, the long-term benefits of well-controlled blood pressure are many. Your doctor may suggest checking it daily or less often. Home blood pressure monitoring is not a substitute for visits to your doctor, and home blood pressure monitors may have some limitations. Even if you get normal readings, don't stop or change your medications or alter your diet without talking to your provider first. However, if continued home monitoring shows your blood pressure is under good control, you might be able to make fewer appointments with your provider. Monitoring your blood pressure at home doesn't have to be complicated or inconvenient, and in the long run, you might risk fewer complications related to high blood pressure and enjoy a healthier life. We hope that you enjoyed our video today, and if you like our content, please give us a thumbs up or subscribe to our channel. If you have any questions or comments, drop us a note in the comments below. We hope that by having a way to monitor your loved one's blood pressure at home allows you to make meaningful and healthy travel happen without worry. Thanks for joining us and we'll see you next time.